Hello, boys and girls and other things, everything above, everything below, and everything in between. Now, you all should have paid uh, an overpriced price for the game that you see on your screen now, Call of Duty Black Ops. Yes, I do love the game, but uh, I hate the fact that I had to pay so much for it. Anyway, let's not get political. Uh, a lot of you guys are playing this on your console. I, for one, prefer to play it on my PlayStation 3. And no, I am no fanboy, nor am I going to get into that debate. And to those of you who wish to get into that debate, I suggest you find something better to do with your life. Let's move on. There are many problems that will arise, especially for Australasian players, uh, with this game. So, us uh, sheep-loving Kiwis and uh, kangaroo-loving Australians and dingo-stealing-our-baby people uh, will have quite a few problems uh, joining lobbies, getting our friends to join our lobbies, not being able to hear our friends uh, during in-game chat, etc. Now why does this happen? Well, it happens because your router blocks certain ports, which is why I'm sure you've heard about port forwarding, uh, and your router also blocks certain packets. We won't get into it. Uh, but I'm sure you've heard about port forwarding, and everyone says it's the massive fix for it. Well, to be honest with you, as much as I'd love to say gamers are technical, some of us are really, really stupid. Not to say that you're stupid, but, well, you know, anyway, let's not get into it. The first step, let's find out the address for your router. You want to find out the IP address. So, type in run. When you get that little run box, type in cmd. Then type in ipconfig forward slash all. Then look for your default gateway address. Would you look at that? That's our default gateway address. 192.168.2.1. Let's go there and see what we can find. Press enter. Oh, would you look at that? Takes me to the setup of my router. Click on OK. Now, first thing you want to do is write down your default gateway on a notepad document. I've already got it over here. Step number two, your router will have a status bar. Uh, whether it's a Linksys, uh, you know, Netgear, whatever. It'll have a status bar. Click on the status bar and find out your internet status where you'll have your two DNS servers. Most ISPs will use two DNS servers to play it safe. Now, copy down those IP addresses as well, which I've got copied down here. Fantastic. So we're finally doing something about this. Anyway, as excited as I sound right now, the next thing you need to do is set up a DMZ. Now, kids, what a DMZ is, is a demilitarized zone. Yes, that's a new word we'll be learning about today. What the hell is a demilitarized zone? Well, basically, a demilitarized zone is an area in your router where you can specify an IP address and every packet forwarded to that IP address and back will not be touched or altered by the router in any way. Uh, we won't get into the nitty-gritty of, of uh, logical addressing and physical addressing on, on packets, but anyway, that's really crap you don't need to know. Um, anyway, so uh, let's, let's head off to uh, advanced settings in your router. It usually comes up as NAT. A lot of the time when you set up internet on your PS3, you're going to see NAT type open, etc. Or restricted, whatever. So... Let's find out where NAT is. Would you look at that? NAT stands for Network Address Translation. So let's click on that. Now we've got three options under NAT. We can either trigger a port, forward a port, or have an exposed host. Now in my case, DMZ equals exposed host. Essentially, that's what it is. You're exposing a host to the world so everyone can do whatever the hell they like with it. I frankly don't care what people do with my PS3 because there isn't much they can do with it. Unless I still had Linux installed, of course, but that's far from the issue. Let's click on exposed host here. Now, notice how I have two IP addresses here already. It's not safe or a smart idea to set up your desktop PC as an exposed host. That was purely for trial purposes. Please, if you're stupid enough to do this uh, and stupid enough to buy Norton, uh, please, 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 you are going to end up paying a lot more in the future for repairs, so don't be stupid enough to set up your uh, desktop computer as an exposed host. Your PS3 should be fine because, well, there isn't much you can hack in a PS3. Um, anyway, so notice the first three parts of this IP address is 192.168.2. That sounds familiar. Where did we see that before? I know our default gateway starts with 192.168.2. So those three parts of the address have to be exact 
anything after that can be between, uh, from the top of my head, 1 and 254. Uh, so that can be between the range of 1 and 254. I particularly randomly picked 233 out of my head. Uh, I don't know, depending on how I was feeling that day. But um, pick anything out of your head and uh, you'll be fine there. And then just click on Enabled and, and Add, etc. I'm just going to cancel this because I don't want to change any of the settings. Anyway, so you're sweet there. The next step is when we move on to the good old PS3. I'm going to show you how to do this on the PS3. Why? Because that's the only console uh, I prefer to play on. Although I would love to have a 362. Please let's not have a fanboy flame war in the comments section because you really, really need to do one of two things. One, Please find something better to do with your life other than fanboy flame wars, and if you can't do that, go kill yourself. Anyway, let's move on.